I'm Pastor Maria. Welcome to Break Time. A few weeks ago, I went shopping at the store Babies R Us. My daughter, Nyla, who is five, was with me, and she loves that store because of the toy section. So as soon as we got there, she wanted to know if she could go and look at the toys. Now, the toy section wasn't too far from where I would be shopping. I would still be able to hear her. I would still be able to see her. So I agreed. I showed her the area where I would be and told her that she should come back here to find me. She said, okay, mommy, and she was off. As I shopped, I could hear Nyla laughing. I could hear her playing, and every now and then I would glance over just to make sure she was okay. I thought that everything was fine until I hear a voice over the loudspeaker say, will a customer by the name of Pastor Maria please come to the front of the store? I immediately look over and I don't see Nyla, and I knew that it was her. I run to the front of the store, and as soon as Nyla sees me, she runs to me, throws her arms around me. She's crying, she's upset, so I just hold her. When she finally calms down, I ask her, Nyla, what happened? She said, Mommy, when I looked over, I didn't see you and I got scared. I said, Nyla, why didn't you come and look for me? I would never leave you. She said, I knew you didn't leave me. I just couldn't see you. As I think about that experience with Nyla and how she began to panic when she couldn't see me, I wonder how many of us respond the same way when we can't see God. When we are going through our deepest, darkest times, when things become difficult and challenging in our lives, how many of us begin to panic when we can't see or feel God? In Mark chapter four, verses 35 through 41, we read that the disciples are in the midst of what the Bible describes as a great windstorm. And they're battling the storm and they start to panic because it feels as if Jesus has left them to fight this storm all by themselves. Here they are fighting what could have been the biggest storm of their lives. Here they are trying to hold on with everything they've got and when they look up, Instead of seeing Jesus right beside them, helping them, Jesus is sleeping, not at all concerned about what they're going through. I bet some of these disciples were hurt and angry. Some of them probably felt alone and even betrayed. These disciples left everything behind to follow Jesus. They left their homes, their families, their jobs, their communities. And now when they are facing the biggest storm of their lives, now when they need Jesus the most, he has the audacity to be sleeping. Just like the disciples, many of us may also feel as if Jesus is not concerned about the storms we're facing. We can sometimes feel like Jesus is sleeping at the times when we need him most. Where was Jesus when I lost my job? Where was Jesus when my brother died? Where was Jesus when I was battling my illness? Some of you may be going through a storm right now. It's wet, it's cold, and it feels like you're facing this storm alone. If this is you today, I have good news. You are not alone. Jesus is on the boat. He may be still in the storm, but he's still 
in the storm. I know that my daughter felt scared and alone in that store that day. But she knew that all she had to do was call my name and I would be there. And that's what I'm going to encourage you to do today. If you are feeling like God has left you, if you are feeling like you are facing the storms in your life all alone, I want you to know that all you have to do is call his name. Call his name and he'll be there. When the disciples called out, Jesus spoke to their storm and said, peace, be still. And I believe that God can speak to your storms and say, peace, be still. If this message has been a blessing to you, please give this video a thumbs up, comment below, subscribe to our channel, and of course, share this video with others. Thanks for tuning in to Break Time. God bless.